So there is one more thing I want to do in this game before being completely done with it, and that is to fill out our whole encyclopedia and catch all of the fish in the game. And that should be easy to do for the most part because I have my boat set up to catch all the different types of fish, except for the ones that require trawling, but we'll handle that later. And I know there's a lot of oceanic fish that I haven't caught yet, so we're just gonna go right out into the middle here and not fish here because this is coastal. Looking for an oceanic fish, like a sword fish or a shark fish. This looks like one over here. Look at that, he's all by his lonesome. Uh, there's a whale. Can't catch that. Very cool, though. So there's, ooh, these things. I love these things. They're so cool looking. Yeah, an ocean sunfish. Look at how big that is. I would not be able to fit this on the smaller boat. But now we have one of those. Very good. And we can fish out these ones. I have no idea what these are. A blackfin tuna. Very cool. Don't really need to worry about exhausting the spot. I am only here to catch and record me catching them. If I can catch an oceanic aberration, that would be very good for me. And it's, oh, it's right over here. Here. What? What is here? Besides the dock that I was already at before. Uh, hi, campsite. Examine structure. Okay. Uh, was there more things here? I guess not. Not sure why the game would tell me to come here. Oh, well. And we don't have to worry about it turning nighttime because we do have to catch some nighttime fish. And apparently this danger fog that shows up red is inert when there's no light on. So we can just coast around in the dark for a little bit. Also, I do still have this bait from the airmen. So I could probably use this if we get to a certain area. Not sure which area to use use it in though. Oh, and I totally forgot about the crab pots that were over here. So I'm pretty sure I collected all the crabs in Devil's Spine. That means I don't have to worry about the pots anymore. Have I collected you? I don't know. No, I haven't. A uh, Cusk Eel. That's a weird name. I do also have to be on the lookout for all the different aberration spots because a lot of these are the weird fish. Anyway, sell all of these. We might as well repair the crab pots while we're at it because we're gonna need to use them. Not right now though. So since we're fishing volcanic, I can sort the encyclopedia by that. And all oh, this aberration is only one left. So I'm gonna need to do a lot of sailing around at nighttime. Ooh, there's an aberration right there. Are you the one I'm looking for? And it looks like it went away. Oh, that was probably it. Time to make it nighttime again. But now I know what to look for. So let's just rest until nighttime. Really flipping the schedule on us. But now I just have to coast around until another aberration spot shows up. Ooh. This could be the spot, too. Uh, nope, definitely not. And that night was entirely wasted. I feel like this is gonna be a common thing. But also, I've never explored the islands over here. Oh, there's another cloaked guy. Hi there. Feeling a little peckish? Serve, yes. Uh-huh. What do you want? Deliver the vessel. Oh, one of these. Well, I just had one. Oh, well. Time to get another one. I'm here, my pretty. There we go. You're gonna feed the spooky man over here very nicely. Here you go. Uh-huh. Does that whole eat the heart thing? Bring down the sky. Oh, man. You want a sailfish? Well, not sure how easily I'll get one of those, but I'll look. I also don't know if sailing around aimlessly is gonna be the best strategy. Oh, there's an aberration right there. Please stick around. Do I know you? I don't. What are these things? It's a rat tail. Cool. I would also like the aberration that's here if it still is here. Sadly, no, it went away. At least now the sailfish will be a lot easier to spot. Speaking of spotting, let's try this again. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a rat tail right there. Blue mackerel. So this is how this works. And uh, <laughs> there's my boat. Oh, there's a sailfish right over there. Can I ping it? No, but I know it's over this way. Can't believe this guy's gonna eat an entire sailfish. Ooh, there's two of them. There we go. A little smaller than I remember. Probably because the boat's bigger. And uh, I guess something I had rotted entirely. Oh, that might have been the crab. Whoops. Oh, well. Discard you. Thankfully, Blitz doesn't rot. At least not yet. And uh, might as well grab another one to sell. Don't really have room for more than that. Hello, Mr. Mystery Man. I have your sailfish. And now he wants a frilled shark. I know where to get one of those. Right over here. Ooh, this is a trophy. Oh, that's such a shame that I'm gonna have to feed it to him. Ooh. Aberration? Hello? <gasps> oh, this is the one that I want. Yes! Collect you. Oh, there it is! An infernal eel. Nasty looking. But it's good because that should be all the volcanic Hooray! fish. But there is one more in the devil's spine, it looks like. Oh, two. Oh, I should have collected that thing. Why didn't I? I thought I already had it. At least we can finish off the food thing for this guy very nicely. And now we get a book. Nautical engineering. That's more engine knowledge, right? Probably is. I do... Whoa! At least I can sell all these for good money. And the snake mackerels are around at any time of day, so I don't need to worry about wandering through at nighttime. And I Really don't care about these little fish because I outpace them by a mile. Okay, here's the aberration for the ghost fish. Thankfully, you're still around. And there we go. A wrapped shark. Weird. All right, so that's one for the books. There's a big monster fish. How you doing? I see an aberration right over there. Or no, you're just 
this point. Why do you keep bringing me to the docks that I've already visited, game? Oh, there's an aberration right out there, but there's a boat going by it. Oh, please be the thing. No, you're not the thing. But I'll catch you anyway. Ooh, a congealed rat tail. I guess I was missing you. The hardest thing is just finding all these aberration spots. Oh, here's a spot right out here. Please be the thing. Please be the thing. Yes. Yes, you are. Aha! Just gonna fish this spot dry. As dry as I need to. There it is. A serpentine mackerel. Ugh. It's like a snake with fins. All right, but the good news is that should be all of the fish in the devil's spine area, except for you? A crab. Okay, zero to 32 feet. Not too bad. Let's just go back to shore and get the crab pots. I get that I'm kind of doing this by necessity, but I've become a lot more comfortable with sailing around at night, actually. Now that I know how to avoid the danger, now I just gotta work on being the danger. Uh, thank you, Light, for turning on just so you can flicker out. Very useful. And we can use the large mouth of the deep crab pot to speed this up and use the big ones. Not really worried about the small ones. That's just a lot to manage. Right here is a good spot. We'll move over here a little bit. Get up close to the rocks. Woo. Uh, 0, 32. Let's get out to 32 as much as possible. There we go. Whoop. Why are you here? Go away. So now we just patrol between those. And this crab pot already has one. Hey, there it is. Ooh, a volcano snail? Oh, that looks cool. All right, that was easy. We'll just pick you up. I don't care about the rest. Now, I believe that is all of the fish at Devil's Spine. Yes, indeed. So let's use Manifest to go back to the Great Marrows because I'm not sure I've collected all the fish here. Of course, I very well could have. Hmm, not this gulf one. There's one aberration I haven't got. And then there's a sailfish and a shark. But those are nighttime. So I guess we just gotta sleep off the crazy and we just finished reading nautical engineering which gives us equipment types that use durability will lose it slower cool that boat is coming right at me i don't like that very much you need to go away and he totally sees me that's fine i'm speedy Ooh, not a fan of being this close to rocks either it's okay we're good oh great there's weird rocks showing up now okay Oh, then I'm almost crashing into those. Not good. Oh, there's an aberration over there. I want it. Okay, you. Ooh, you're the one that I want. Give me you. And you. A black tip reef shark. That's cool looking. I like that. And let's see what your aberration is. Ooh, <laughs> cleft mouth shark. Nasty looking. You don't even have eyes. So something I just remembered I had is this atrophy spell, which... It rots the fish, but it also does weird things to them. So I'm thinking we could probably use that to get easy aberrations. Just got to find a spot for the flounders like here. And then we use it. And ooh, that did it. Perfect. Cyclopean flounder. That is bizarre. Sadly, it's rotting. So we really don't get too much money from this, but that's okay. We're not here for money. We're here for science. And also the aberration spell just has a super long cooldown. So that sucks. I wonder if I can speed through the cooldown by docking in port and then speeding up time. Let's see if it works. And oh yes, that did it. I can use it again. Good. There's a sailfish over here. I would love to see turn into a weird variant. Hopefully you do. Yes. A sallow sailfish, and it's infected. This is all types of nasty, but it works. And, uh, whoops. Took a turn too sharp and lost the sallow sailfish. Ah, uh, I can't even sell it. That's fine. We got the encyclopedia entry. That's all that matters. Now, I believe that is all the fish in the marrows. And speaking of science, we can go on over to the stellar basin because the researcher also has some extra tasks that we haven't completed yet. We might as well just go on through here. Ooh, there's a... Which ones are these? Do I know these? Can I get these? Hopefully, Big Kraken doesn't mind me being here. Uh, hmm. I don't think I have you. Let's just, uh... Ooh, there it is. A calcified snailfish. Nasty. Well, that was easy. Ooh, it's starting to get nighttime and the Kraken is getting all glowy. It's so creepy, but it's so cool at the same time. So, what was it that you wanted? Hello. About the specimens. Oh, I see. You wanted the stuff above the pit. Well, that's easy enough. Doesn't mean I have to do it at nighttime, though. I wonder if you'll take the aberration, actually. I mean, I'm done with it. I, I guess that would work. Have fun getting research out of that. And these anglers are really easy to get. Let's just turn on the generator so that we can collect the rest of these in peace. It's so weird looking down there and there's no glow. You can kind of see the maw, though. That is very threatening. And she also wanted a slack jaw. Is that a anglerfish aberration right there? Bursting anglerfish. Ugh. 
It's like a xenomorph. And then we can give you some of the other fish that you wanted, like an angler and an amphipod. Now you just need the loose jaw. So the loose jaw is available anytime. Might as well just sail around here and see what we get. And now these special rocks are glowing. I don't think I've read you yet. What the fuck? Yay. Yep, because you're a crab. Ah, how dare you, sir? That gets me every time. I don't like it. You know, maybe I'll just look in the daytime. There it is right over there. Spyglass is so handy. I don't know why I didn't use it before. Oh, well, you're not the one I'm looking for, but I do need you as well. Uh, let's go to the loose jaws, which I also forgot had red eyes. That also kind of helps. Anyway, time to use you. And ugh, perish loose jaw. So many of these fish are so weird looking and they make no sense. Hopefully the research lady doesn't like rotted fish because that's what she's gonna get. And we can just put you, oh, I can give her a stale one. That works. And there you go done. I guess she doesn't want the aberration. Fine. Be like that. And then we get a regular snail fish for the researcher because I guess she doesn't want a weird one. In any case, time to actually complete the researcher's thing. And here you go. There we go. Good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? The good news. Honed in on what's causing the abnormalities. Oh, really? The bad news is the samples you retrieved from the basin have high counts of cell mutations. Okay, that thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. And she gave me a book. Very nice. But there's also the weird globe fish right here that I need to give the old atrophy treatment. Oh, a void eye. Wow. This might be my favorite. Look at that thing. That is cool. You ever catch a fish with a black hole in its face? So now the big annoying one is the Aurora jellyfish because it's only at nighttime and we can only trawl for it, which sucks because that means I have to go in here, move some of these things around because I can't have all of these plus a trawl net. Wait five hours for that to install. Buy this. Wait four more hours for that to install. And then thankfully now it's nighttime, so we can just go ahead and start trawling and hope we get an aberration out of it. Oh my gosh, that's a pirate ship. I do not want to know what's under that. Or maybe I do. I, I didn't know there was a be a pirate boat looking thing. Oh gosh, that's a what? Huh? Okay, freaky ghost sharks. Sure, why not? Can definitely go without seeing one of those again. Uh, just when I thought I'd seen everything in this game. So maybe there's just an area that has more jellies than others. Like these weeds here. Don't really know the trick, just gonna do it. And avoid that jelly. A little danger squishy. I call him squishy Ooh, we finished reading plan for the future. I wonder if I atrophy over these weeds, if that works. Oh! Well, I caught all of those ones. Cool, and that means an aberration octopus and all these ones. Interesting. But now I can check the crab pots. Ooh, crown of thorns. This is cool looking. And the crab pot has, hey, the other kind of blue crab. Very nice. Ooh, it's caught something. And hey, a spiny lobster. Ooh, this one's cool. And thankfully, that's all the crabs in the stellar basin. Oh, there it is. The parhelion jellyfish. Ooh. Two showers of lights shine from within its hood, singing spike tentacles trail below. Cool. Okay, thankfully, I don't have to do that anymore. That was like, I don't even know, 15 minutes of back and forth with nothing. Hopefully I never have to use this again. So let's just get this back in there where it goes. And I believe that is all of the fish at the Stellar Basin. Very nice. So where to next? We have a lot of missing fish in the Gale Cliffs. So might as well use the old atrophy. Razor mouth. Ugh. That atrophy will also save a lot of time so I don't have to be constantly running away from the giant eel that lives here. Ooh, I definitely not seen this one. It's a sturgeon. Huh. And some of these fish in the Gale Basin are also at nighttime. So I'll just wait for the cooldown to be done. And then let's see, where do I go? Ooh, I have not seen you before. Hopefully you stick around and don't go away in daytime. What in the world are you? A viper fish. Interesting. Would you like to be atrophied? Ugh, decrepit viper fish. Excellent. Okay, I forgot to record it, but Viperfish apparently had a second aberration, which I caught. Collapsed Viperfish. This thing is gross. But now we can use it to get a bearded mackerel. Oh, weird. It's like a catfish, but isn't. And there is another aberration. Well, there's also these ones. Let's just go ahead and grab it. A gnashing perch. Ugh, it's all teeth. Okay, yep. Another spook shark. Yeah, ow. Okay, they got me that time. That's not cool. Oh, please don't tell me it scared away the fishies too. Wow, that did two damage. So I guess there's one more daytime fish I haven't caught yet. It's in the shallows. Probably means I have to go through the cliffs to find it. That's not gonna be fun. Ooh, but there's a sturgeon here. I need these. They're aberrations anyway. 
A translucent sturgeon. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, it's you. Well then, you're not an aberration, but I might as well fish you up. There we go, a wreck fish. Might as well wait a night and then collect your aberration, which is a shattered wreck fish. Oh, some of them are creepy, but a lot of the ones I've been catching lately are just cool. Somehow I'm finding every kind of fish except the tiger mackerels now. What's going on? And of course, I go the long way around the island before I find any. A flayed mackerel. I honestly didn't realize how much time catching all these fish was gonna take. I've already been recording for two hours. Apparently, there's another aberration of the wreck fish. So I guess we do need to go back to those spots. Hello, wreck fish. Give me your weird ones. A bony wreck fish. It's kind of sad I can only catch like one aberration at a time instead of two and then it's the two different types That'd make this so much easier and I just really want to find that ray. Oh, <gasps> there it is Oh, please big eel leave me alone and cut you. Oh gosh. It's here. Uh uh, Atrophy atrophy atrophy. There it is. Take all get out of here. We put it in reverse I saw those to shake it is active and I don't know where it is. There it is. Hi there. Do you see me? Yeah, you do. Are you subject to banishment? I want to know. Aha, you are. Get out of here, you. Never even got time to admire this thing. That withered ray is so cool. And I believe that is all of the fish in the Gale Cliffs. Good, this is my least favorite spot. So that means that we only have the twisted strand and the open ocean left. This is gonna be painful. I also didn't realize the sunfish had an aberration. But now we just roll up to the twisted strand in the dead of night. And the catfish is a nighttime thing. Here you are. Give me your weirdness. A nightwing catfish oh i like that one although an idea while i'm here i can bring these fish over to the airman and then he can turn my fish into bait very nice very lovely and then these should really help us in the oceanic parts of the world and i can't really put these in storage either well i can put most of them in storage actually and i honestly forget where that it was it was kind of over in this direction i think oh yeah here it is just as the thing replenishes a vortex interloper Ooh. And is that all of the fish in the twisted strand? Indeed it is. Excellent. So now the only ones left are on the open ocean. One, two, three. Oh, there's also the big exotic fish here. I forgot about this. I should grab that. Though I suppose I could ask the merchant before I look dumb. Uh, Goliath tigerfish. Legitimately scary hunt in murky swampy waters using the shade of trees as cover. So definitely somewhere inside the strand. Oh, I guess there's this branch I never blew up. And that's definitely the fish over there. Please tell me I have explosives on me. Ah! Why, they gotta be in storage. Pluck it out of storage and then go on back. Thankfully, it doesn't matter about the time of day. So I can just come back here, use it, and kabooya! And there it is, right in there. Mr. Goliath Tigerfish. Fish you up. There you are. Oh, so bizarre looking. And then we can bring it back to the merchant. I have a Goliath. Add it to the records and some research parts. Very good. That's all of them. I suppose I can put some research towards things. Like this jet drive engine. And then whatever else. I don't really care. Maybe a crab pot just because I can. And this thing goes for $250. Wow. Okay, now it's time to collect all this bait out of storage. And go on out to the open ocean. Wherever that may be. Probably on the edges of the map, I would think. You're a nighttime fish. Look at that, though. I only have six left. So this is two, three. You're daytime. I should find you. Imagine if this thing was like an actual sun. I know that's not how aberrations work, but I think that'd be funny. So let's just use it. A charred sunfish. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, great. This one needs a trawling. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's all the extra fish we need. Grab the trawl net, plug that in. Crab pots come with us. Really not sure where it classifies as open ocean. And I just realized my troll net isn't rated for ocean because that one is way at the end of the research tree. This is going to take a bit. Eventually. Okay, it took a little bit of time, but I was able to get all the research parts I need from the traveling merchant here to get the heavy duty troll net researched, which is rated for oceanic. So all I got to do now is purchase you, plug you in right here in this handy little slot, and now I can get all the fish that I need. Also, while I'm here, I might as well plug in this encrusted talisman so I can get some extra fishing speed. And then we just do our thing and head out for the open water. And now we can lower the trawl net and hopefully catch a lot of pretties. Ooh, a scarlet prawn. There's one. And wow, look at the size of this net. That is amazing. Ooh, the good news is I think that was the only one that required a pot. Yes, indeed. That means we don't have to worry about that. Very cool. And are you a fish that I want? Nope. Ooh, an anchovy. Go figure. 
can't have a fishing game without anchovies. Ooh, I caught a sailfish. That's awesome. Now, the hard part is anchovies have an aberration, and trawl nets are annoying for catching aberrations. But we'll just keep going. This looks like a good stretch out here, right towards the edge of the map. Might as well. So then we'll just go over to a different spot. Uh, that was a rumbly. Oh, gosh. You again. Hi there. How you doing? Oh, gosh. Okay, there's more of them. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, no. I'm being circled. I am being circled. I need to, I need to, I need to manifest out of here. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, that, that would not have been good. That would not have been good. It wrecked my engine as well. Come on. I guess don't go into the open ocean when you're a little cray cray. I want to be done with this game, but it doesn't seem like the game wants to be done with me. So if I just get good distance from all the different fish and throw some more bait. Ooh, this is it. Perfect. Oh, and it's a trophy too. Yes, a moonfish. Excellent. And now if we just combine this with atrophy. Yeah. That's not, not what I wanted, game. Well, that was a waste. And now I'm entirely crazy. Let's just manifest back to shore while we're at it. Can't get any crazier if I'm already insane. Oh, there's just different spots. Ooh, there's this one. Okay, now atrophy. Ooh, that did it. Yes, skeletal moonfish. Oh, perfect. perfect. Now all that's left to do is to trawl for that minnow aberration. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, yes, there it is. Anchovy king, you disgusting freak of nature. Look at you. And in their numbers, they will rise. That is... Honestly, one of the tamer ones. But now, if we go into the encyclopedia, we have discovered all of the fish. Every single one. That was only a two and a half hour adventure, but it was worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Dredge. I know there is the other ending for the game, but I kind of like the one that I got. Made for a great thumbnail. So I'm not really sure there's any much more to do in this game besides that. I suppose there is a DLC, but I don't know what's in that. So that might be it for this game. I certainly hope you guys enjoy the series. Thank you very much for watching and sub to intern. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Donomoto, Deviana X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.